Hello, welcome to another episode of Mark 2 Golf Stories. We're back with the Lemon today. Uh, got a few jobs to do on the GTI. Um, gonna give it a quick oil change. I haven't got an oil filter, unfortunately. Uh, I'll do that next time. Probably shouldn't be doing an oil change like this without that, but never mind. Got to put the um, air filter in and the little uh, gasket for the speedo cable. And maybe have a look at the accelerator cable if we can. Um, yeah, let's do it. Right, so which way is it going? <laughs> that way. That way. That way. It's a bit tight. It's gonna swirl a little bit. That's black, black that. So it needs a change. Yeah. You can see the oil's quite black. So yeah, obviously. You're needing this. Some of these belts seem better days. Look, this one here for the um power steering. This one up here. This one looks a bit worse for wear too. Give that a minute or two then, eh? So yeah, we haven't got uh, an air filter at the moment. Um, we will get uh, an air filter. We haven't got an oil filter. Um, so it might seem a bit pointless doing an oil change without a filter. I thought you came on. They didn't have any. Oh. So I'll get one ordered. Get that down as soon as we can. Um, but yeah, and it's good to get fresh oil in it. And it had far too much oil, so it needed draining anyway, because it was spitting it all out. I think that might have been because it was over full. Uh, so next job. Uh, put the gasket on the speedo cable and put the air filter in and then we'll put the plug back in give some pressure now oh. oh it looks all right to me the trouble is all the water sinks to the bottom that way you say oh it's wrong way around it's the other way around i guess then so. oops you reckon yeah, yeah. So there we go, that's how the gasket that's how the gasket sits under this. It's pressing out against it a little bit there. I'm sure that'll be okay. Let's get that in. Let's get that in now. What are you doing there? You're nowhere near it, Dad. Put your glasses on. <laughs> Good idea. I never thought of that. There we go, that feels nice and tight now around here. Previously, there was a gap underneath it. <coughs> but yeah, we just gas get on. There's no gap, so you can find a screw now, put in here. We should be good to go. Right, another job um, is putting on the air filter. So, nice and easy. Take it off. Under these clips. Let's fucking put these clips on. Okay, so we've got a bit. Yeah, that moves okay. It's good. Bit of oil under here and in the air box um, so we'll give these a bit of a clean before we put the air filter in so this is what the inside of the air box was like it's a bit oily it's not as bad as it was but we'll go and give it a clean a bit of a clean down here too right give it a clean down here gonna wear uh, some cure rust a bit more dry no, I will give this a proper paint at some point, just for the time being. Basically, I want to get this moved because it's letting water in. 
the bonnet so we're going to move it underneath the, uh, the carport. So just for now, let's put a bit of cure rust on these bits here, which are visible. And then at some point, fairly soon, once we've got NMOT for it and all that, we'll give us a proper sanding down and the paint. So there we go, there's the inside of the air, air box cleaned. It's not 100% clean, but you know, it's clean air, so I'm happy with that. Oh, lovely. There you go, that's just the gasket, Dad. Yeah. Nice one. Is it a good, good fit? Yeah, it is, isn't it? From this side, next job is to jack the car up, put the drain plug back in, put some oil in it, and then we'll go inside and look at the accelerator cable. Back in we go. According to the Bible, we need to tighten the nut up to 30 Nm. Oh, God. There you go, that's 30. Fun catch. These were upside down, these were on the wrong side, these indicators. <laughs> Do you see it? No. Upside down, you've got the curvature here. Oh yeah, oh god, the top mount's gone. Both sides actually. It's passive. It's gone. It's gone, so it shouldn't have a gap like that, so it's a basic. Got, got a garage. Top mounts? Yeah. Front ones? Yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, you've got a new suspension, didn't we? Oh. Well, we could always replace suspension on the front as well. If you wanted to. This is saying, it? Oh bloody hell. He's a shit bag. He probably doesn't know, Dad. I don't think he knows about it all. It's like the rubber's gone on the top mounts, so that'll be another job to change at some point. Not for now though. Right, just my little little. Three and a half litres it should take. Right. Pull it over for. Just got some lunch. Yeah, yeah, loops up for lunch, I think. Okay, if it's after lunch, it's closed as well. It's hard to tell. I can clean anyway. A bit more. Yeah, it's more, isn't it? These are enough in. I'd leave it at half an hour, Scott, then let it settle down, but next time you come, put some more in. Rather than overfilling it. I mean, that should be about right. There's, there's enough there for it to run the engine with. Yeah. Ah, so for some reason that's zip tied on. Yeah. With that spring's rope that stretch. Yeah. See it? Yeah. No new spring on there. So that's how it should look. Of a difference, so we place that spring. Should be good to go. Actually, that's a bigger spring than this. Spring off. Mm. 
the right end. Okay, now. This was bent. This? Yeah. See? it. Okay. Which way around does it go? Up. Then you took it off. You haven't got another one for us. What? Well, that. Oh, it's that. It goes that way. Alright. Flat bit to the bottom. Yeah. So, just having a bit of a. Uh, look around some of this shady wiring. Got this random plug here. I think it should go into this. But I've got some extra wires here. I don't know what the fuck these go to. Or what even this goes to. Brown, brown. Brown, brown there. This has got. Brown. And white. Green and red. Black and red. Some others on it, so that's a mystery. Anyway, looking for. I'm going to try with the um, fuse box up to where it should be. I've also got this random relay. Get the fuse box in the right place, then I can get access to the pedals properly. So let's, uh, let's do that. So I'm guessing this is why the brake lights aren't working. On the brake pedal, it's not plugged in up here. It's the back of the switch. So let's find a two pin plug that goes onto it. Good luck with that, Ace Scott. Uh, so I found um, some wires which look like they might be the right ones. Uh, I guess we just need to turn the ignition on and see if the brake lights come on. Brake lights work. Is it on? Push the brake now. Oh, get off. That one's working. Oh yes, they're working. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, look. It's not, it's not, it doesn't feel spongy, but it's not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's the movement. Yeah, so it looks like... Should that rubber grout thing be in that circular thing? I guess it should be. No, uh, probably. Yeah. Is, that, is that thing bent? Can you see? Yeah, I'll, you Stop. I'll take a photo, let me show you. Rubber. Here should be inside this hole. So you can't really see. Right, so this is the top of the accelerator. Oh god, where's the rubber gone? We've got a new rubber, so I might as well put that on it. And I'll put the, I'll put the uh, cable at the top up here, back through it. Well, that went in a lot easier than I expected. Let's try and get this uh, cable into it now. Top. Oh, it's quite easy actually. So there we go. That should hopefully work a bit better now then. Well, that's all we've got time for on this week's episode of uh, Mark 2 Golf Stories. Uh, making a bit of progress with this. I'm not too sure about all that grey black smoke. Hopefully that's all just to do with oil getting sucked through um, before we had the air filtering and before we put the correct amount of engine oil in it. 
Um, if you've got any thoughts, any, any issues we've got, please comment below. Um, also consider dropping a like, click on subscribe, maybe even a bell notification. Or if you're even feeling really generous, you can buy us a coffee or support us on Patreon. Uh, also got a store online now where you can get some t-shirts and mugs. Don't know why you want to. I only did it because I wanted one. Hey oh, there you go. Right, well, see you in another episode soon. Thanks. Last minute, it's going to be a man. I think we're going to have a man now. That's